morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome to Taste of Travel. We're back with another episode. Today we're at Potbelly Sandwich Shop. I got pizza milk. It looks very delicious. I mean, that's a pretty good looking sub if you ask me. Ooh, that smelled good. It looks like we got some sausage, some pepperoni, some cheese. Some... I added some lettuce and some marinara sauce. <sighs> so good it, it literally smells like a pizza like i know it has all the toppings and stuff but it really smells like a pizza i mean look at that crunch that's pretty crunchy you're talking to me you're talking to me That's really freaking good. That crunch is so good. I got it on white bread. I mean, you're supposed to watch your calories in white bread, but the sausage is really cooked good. Pepperoni's good. I'm not using a big pepperoni fan, but the lettuce is good. Overall, it's really freaking good. It tastes, it just tastes really perfect. It's not a perfect sandwich, but it tastes perfect. It's called a skinny. It's like five inches. It was $10 for that power. Like, that's kind of expensive for a tiny little thing with power. But that's the times. Everything's going up. I mean, it's just what it is. You got to pay for quality, I guess. The smell's a 10. We'll get the smell a 10. I've never rated the smell, but the smell's a 10. The texture's a 10. Overall, Planet Sub's still number one for me. I would give this... 2,000 years later. An 8.6. It's very good. Would I change anything about it? A little spicy pepperoni, but that's, you know, the sauce is a little spicy, but that's given. But no, I don't think I would change anything about it. I think I think it's perfect the way it is. I give it that score because quality's great. Smell is perfect. Texture is phenomenal. I mean, that that's crunchy, super crunchy. Not like the Panera bread, which is hard as a brick. Who knows, two, two completely different things. Um, overall, very good. Would I have it again? Oh, for sure. Not that often because it's kind of that little bit. I mean, everything's going up, but still, that's a little expensive. Um, I hope you guys have a great week. I don't know if you heard that, but that guy was kind of mad that Chipotle's doors were locked. I'm sorry it was like an inconvenience to you. This week's message is plug your phone in at night. You don't want to be to have a dead battery by midday. Bye-bye. <laughs>